There must be so many beginner worried about desoldering the components from boards. And in today's video I will introduce a method that is able to solve this problem. What you need to prepare is also very simple. In addition to commonly used welding tools, you should also prepare a piece of copper wire. First, remove a simple 4-pin button switch. You need to twist the copper wire into a shape that can simultaneously touch all pins in advance and add a lot of tin to solder the copper wire and the original solder joints together. Finally, by continuously heating the copper wire with a soldering iron tip, you can see that all the tin on the solder joints is melting, making it easy to remove the components. Since you have learned the method, why not try components with more pins? Basically, all the steps are the same, as long as you follow the steps step by step, you can easily remove the components you want. Although there were many pins, they were successfully removed after heating for a while. Because after adding a large amount of tin, the soldering iron tip can transfer heat to all solder joints through the metal it comes into contact with, forming an effect of simultaneously heating all solder joints. If you have time, you can also use tools such as solder strips to clean the solder pads. The solder joint of the next component is a straight line, so it saves one step. We can directly use a straight copper wire for soldering. Finally, there is a triangular pin. After removing this, our video ends today. If you are interested in learning more, you can like and subscribe us. See you next video!